Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday, a weekly video series where I share stories with you that you can use to make your messages stick. Many a times when leaders take their teams into a room to brainstorm and ideate, before even the brainstorm begins, the team start thinking of the constraints that they have, the time constraint, the resource constraint, the funding constraint, and that puts the leader in a very difficult spot. One such leader asked me, what could he do? Very simply, I told him, tell stories where constraints become beautiful constraints. And the stories that I advise that this leader tells are from this book called A Beautiful Constraint. So the first story is that of Mario. Entertainment industry is one of the most loved characters. Now many of us know who Mario is, but we don't know how Mario was built. Mario was built out of a technology challenge, to be specific, an 8-bit technology challenge. To compensate for the poor pixelation designer, Shigeru Miyamoto did a few things to make sure Mario becomes a good character. The things that he did were, he put a big mustache on the character so that there was no need to show his mouth and facial expressions. He put a big nose to emphasize the humanity of the character. He put a hat to make sure that there was no animation for the hair was required. He put overalls on the character so that the character's arms could be seen. So there were lots of things that were done to compensate for the poor pixelation, which turned out to be a beautiful constraint. Look at Twitter. Twitter's 140 character was a technology constraint. Look at Zappos. When Zappos first decided to sell shoes online, one of the biggest constraints was how does one buy shoes without trying? So Zappos worked around that constraint and said, we will pay for your shipping and we will make it very easy and free for you to return the item if it does not fit. Later on, this amazing service of Zappos was called Wow Service, but in fact, it was a constraint that made them think this way. So when the leader walks into the meeting and people talk about constraint, the leader only has to ask his team, how can you turn this constraint into a beautiful constraint? Thank you.